Hi there, my name is uh, Jung Quist. I work at the Institute of Society and Globalization. I'm a specialist on the Nordic welfare state. What is it that is particular about the Nordic model when we compare it to uh, other models in Europe in particular? I'm also studying the challenges that our world is facing. How are countries going about uh, aging populations? The situation where women are increasingly taking a lot more and better education than men, thus changing the issues of family formation, the power between the genders, and so on. I'm also interested in what happens when people migrate from one country to another, to the dynamics of the politics, and to the way that we undertake reforms uh, in view of uh, a fear, perhaps force or not, uh, about uh, welfare migration, as is uh, called in Europe at the moment. Uh, I'm also uh, studying uh, the impact of being a member of the European Union, what we call Europeanization. What does it mean for a country's capacity to make national welfare reforms when increasingly the EU sets out rules that governs uh, not only the free mobility of workers, but also set criteria for uh, finance policy in particular. Finally, I have an uh, interest in uh, comparative methods trying to figure out how we can compare countries, their policies and their uh, patterns of well-being uh, with a limited uh, set of uh, observations. So we cannot often use statistical methods but have to uh, do comparative studies. And this is one of the things that I'm particularly interested in. Finally, uh, I'm often uh, used uh, as an expert by international organizations, research councils and so on to look uh, at these issues uh, because I think it's important that we are not only discussing academic issues in these ivory towers, but that we also come out and uh, inform the public debates and uh, supervise students so that they will become better architects uh, of the society of tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.